do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve the next question question number 7 2015 jwa advanced physics paper 1 so let us start question number 7 Hello students let us solve the next question question number 7 the question says consider a concave mirror which is shown here and a convex lens shown here refractive index 1.5 so obviously this is the refractive index of the lens that is made up of glass suppose it is uh, 1.5 of focal length 10 cm each so the focal length of this mirror is 10 and this lens is also 10 cm both are having focal length this and this separated by a distance 50 cm so this distance of separation is 50 cm in air whose refractive index is 1 so air has refractive index 1 an object is placed at a distance of 15 cm at the distance of 15 cm from the mirror its erect image formed by it this combination so because of this mirror the image is formed and the image that is formed due to this mirror will act as object for this mirror and again uh, final image is formed so it says that its erect image is formed by this combination this combination means the final image due to the contribution from both has magnification m1 so the final image in the first case the final image is m1 when the setup is kept in medium of refractive index 7 by 6 this whole setup is immersed inside medium having refractive index given as 7 by 6 then the magnification becomes mu2 so what is the value of magnitude of magnification of m2 over m1 that means we have two situations first is when everything is in air and when this setup combination of mirror lens is in medium having refractive index 7 by 6 and here refractive index 1 so in these two situations here the magnification that will get will represent with m1 here the magnification that will get will represent with m2 and finally divide m2 by m1 with an absolute value now in the first case we have to see that uh, to find the magnification the magnification of uh, mirror and lens So the magnification due to this one is suppose uh, I will write something like <coughs> uh, I'll call it uh, m dash and this was m double dash or I will call it uh, to represent different from m one and m two I'll use uh, small uh, letter here is capital letter I'll use small letter in the first case for air and uh, for this case I will use uh, Uh, and that small letter with uh, prime now we know that the magnification uh, due to this one and that one the magnification m1 due to the combination is a uh, magnification due to the mirror multiplied by the magnification due to the lens in the first case in the second case the magnification m2 will be magnification due to mirror dash and m2 dash this is how and finally we will divide these two magnification of mirror will be the if uh, this distance is known object distance and finally the image distance then uh, if i get the image distance in this case then image distance by uh of the distance is the magnification so it will be the image that is formed here suppose i say b or say i suppose v1 divided by u 
and multiply by the magnification of the lens lens magnification here m2 so let us first solve this part then we'll move to the other part so here let me explain this uh, with uh, uh, two different methods first of all i'll use uh, uh, general method then i'll go to this one that i just discussed we know that uh, this is a uh, one way method one that uh, magnific for for me there for me there and when the apparatus uh, is in air medium for me then the magnification is given by the permeable magnification suppose i am writing it with small m1 that is equal to small m1 that is uh, f divided by f minus u equals to minus b by u this is the formula you to remember now because uh, here the concave mirror is there and the object is placed in front of it uh, so for a concave mirror the focal length is negative and it is given 10 so it is minus 10 divided by minus 10 minus u and that u is uh, 15 centimeter as shown in figure this is 15 centimeter so it is negative so that becomes positive negative of negative is positive because here the mirror is like this and the object is placed here 15 centimeter but this distance from measuring in this side is negative and distance measured in this side is positive the ray is coming like that so against the ray we are measuring the position of the object when any measurement is done against the ray is negative so focal length as well as u is negative so these are negative negative and this becomes positive and this equals to minus b that means i write v1 here that because i have used v1 for that v1 divided by u u is the position and that is uh, here as uh, minus 15. so from here i will get that uh, you can get two things first uh, this value is uh, minus 10 divided by 5 that equals to uh, v1 divided by 15 so this is m1 i i can get uh, m1 as minus 2 from here and uh, v1 i'll get uh, minus 30 minus 30 centimeter and magnification is minus 2 without any unit now <clears throat> so what i'm getting is that the magnification is minus 2 it is due to the mirror and due to the lens what i'll get that i will also discuss that uh, for the lens uh, for the lens part i'm solving here for uh, lens for the lens uh, this uh, magnification m2 will be f divided by f plus u this is the formula and that equals to f is uh, for lens uh, focal length is 10 and is always positive because focal length of uh, convex lens is positive divide by 10 plus u and this u will be minus 20 that we must discuss first because the lens is placed somewhere here the image is formed minus 30 that means somewhere here final image is formed somewhere here that is minus 30 but then this total distance is 50 so this image which is found here at a distance of 30 towards the right of this will be at a distance of 20 from the left of this that means this distance is 20 because total distance is 50 so this will be 20 and that is lying to the left so any measurement because the ray will be moving in this direction so this will be negative so it will be minus 20 so it is minus 20 m2 from here it will be 10 divided by minus 10 which is minus 1 so m2 is minus 1 so magnification capital m1 
when due to this combination is a magnification due to the mirror and magnification due to the lens which is minus 2 and minus 1 so it becomes 2. So this is what is the magnification in the first case when this combination is placed in air and the combined magnification is found to be 2. Now let us uh, see what will happen to the combination when the uh, object is placed in uh, when this combination is placed in uh, liquid of uh, refractive index 7 by 6. Okay, so I will uh, consider when uh, combination of mirror and uh, lens and lens is uh, in liquid of refractive index 7 over 6. Now in this case the nothing is going to change much because this is the mirror The object is placed uh, 15 centimeter in front of it and the mirror uh, the lens over is here this distance is 50 and uh, we know that the uh, focal length of the mirror is not going to change when this is uh, immersed in uh, liquid the focal length of mirror is independent of the medium but the focal length of lens is dependent on the medium in which it is placed. So the focal length of this will remain same and the focal length of the lens will change. Focal length of mirror is will remain as minus 10 centimeter but focal length of lens will change. It will uh, change. It will have new focal length that we will find fast. So we know that uh, the from lens makers formula from uh, lens makers formula 1 upon f is mu minus 1 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2 this is uh, the convex lens having uh, radius, similar radius of curvature. So I will write 2 by r. So it will become mu minus 1, 2 by r. Or uh, f I will write uh, r divided by 2 into mu minus 1. So that is uh, f is uh, inversely proportional to mu minus 1. So this uh, will use uh, twice, one for uh, air and another for this. When it was in air, it is the case. So when it is in, in a medium, so in a medium, say it is fo as focal length is f dash. So f dash upon f will be mu minus one divided by mu. This is uh, uh, glass. This is glass with respect to the water medium or any medium which is placed minus 1 because it is reciprocal this will be here and this will be here in the second case this will be the so by putting this uh, glass or any other medium which is placed here whose refractive index is 7 by 6 so it is a liquid whose uh, is a refractive index of glass and here it is the refractive index of glass with respect to liquid in which it is placed here so here it is given and the question that is a uh, uh, glass is 1.5 so it is 3 by 2 minus 1 divided by this is a uh, glass divided by uh, that liquid medium that is 3 by 2 divided by 7 by 6 minus 1 if i solve this then this becomes uh, this i'll write uh, 1 by 2 divided by this is uh, 3 by 6 will come up. So let me solve this first. This is uh, 3 into 6 divided by 2 into 7 minus 1. 
then this becomes 1 by 2 divided by this is uh, 2 3 the 6 9 by 7 minus 1 so this is f dash upon f which comes out to be this is 1 divided by 2 divided by this is uh, 9 minus 7 that is 2 divided by 7 so this is uh, 1 by 2 and uh, 2 by 7 so this is 7 divided by 4 so so f dash the new focal length will be f into 7 by 4 so this will go up so it will be because the focal length is 10 it is uh, 70 by 4 is the focal length of the <coughs> a centimeter this is the new focal length that you use uh, so when the lens is placed in uh, um, liquid of refractive index 7 by 6 its focal length will now become uh, 70 divided by 4 centimeter obviously it will be positive but then it is 70 by 4 centimeter now again uh, we'll do the same thing again uh, what is that the same thing we have to find the uh, in the second case we will find the um, for mirror what is the focal length and uh, uh, what is the magnification and for uh, lens what is the magnification we will find separately we, we have, I'm calling this as the magnification is m1 prime here the magnification is m2 prime so what will be the magnification of a mirror we have already discussed the magnification of a mirror m1 prime is f divided by f minus u but in this case it is f dash f dash but in case of mirror it is not going to change so for mirror this is not going to change anything because the f dash will be as uh, minus 10 here minus 10 plus 15 it is again it is a uh, minus this is minus 2 this is not going to change and uh, by immersion uh, the this one will change and uh, that m2 prime will become f divided by f plus u which is uh, f is f dash new f dash is uh, 70 by 4 divided by 70 by 4 is positive and this u is negative and uh, where that u is uh, we have to find first uh, because uh, uh, that is not going to change because uh, if uh, that previous value will remain the same so it will be minus 20 as used to take because the image due to this is formed at a distance of 30 total distance is 50 so for uh, lens it will be 20 minus 20 so now if i solve this then uh, it will be it will be minus 80 so it is minus 10 this 4 this 4 will cancel 70 by minus 10 70 by minus 10 so it is minus 7 m2 dash is minus 7 and m1 dash is minus 2 so the magnification in the second case is m1 prime into m2 prime which is minus 2 into minus 7 this is 14 now we have uh, m2 and we have also m1 so you got both m2 and m1 and our question is to find the ratio of uh, m2 over m1 we are asked to find the ratio of m2 over m1 absolute values m1 we got as uh, 2 and m2 here we got as uh, 14 as you can see here last time we got 14 so it will be 14 divided by 2 which is 7 so the answer to this question is 7 that is the answer okay thank you